Hi everyone. It is June 11, 2018. This is about the hurricanes that are forecasted, predicted. They're all over the place in terms of these hurricanes or tropical storms. Tropical storm Aletta that developed into a hurricane. Now it's weakened. Hurricane Bud, I will show you clearly manufactured sitting right off the coast of Mexico. But I first want to start with these earthquakes that have been all over the United States, all over the world. But last night I left a comment or a response to a comment from a subscriber in North Carolina telling her you had an earthquake in North Carolina. She asking where? Here it is, northeast of Hayes, North Carolina. The earthquake was a 2.7. The depth, only 1.3 miles. When you see these shallow earthquakes, you could guess that it might have something to do with these ultra-low frequencies that have been going off all over the country. And if I get it together, I will post a video showing you all of the ultra-low frequencies that, well, then an earthquake occurs. You had one in Tennessee. Uh, New Madrid, wow. Right next to the Madrid fault line. This was a 2.5. You've had eight in Oklahoma, Perry, Oklahoma, Covington. I will show you the laser beams that I have been seeing that are shooting off into Oklahoma. Guys, we're at war, okay, and they are using weather as a weapon. I guess you had one today, or June 9. A 4.4 .4 in Cherokee, Oklahoma. Wow. And then I see articles about these earthquakes and, well, seismologists, they're doing the research to find out why. Now, I understand earthquakes can be caused by fracking, but they sure can be caused by ultra-low frequencies. You had one June 4 or 2.2 in Salina, Kansas. Washington, last night you had one, but you've been having several. Also in Oregon, the ultra-low frequencies right here in this area I have posted videos on the ultra-low frequencies that seem to be set off on a regular basis. Nevada, the, the beams that I have seen in Nevada have been quite extraordinary, actually. So I guess I'll have to do that earthquake video to show you. A 3.8. June 10, I will show you all of the Harp Nexrad ultra low frequencies set it off, uh, setting off right here in this area for days, and you have an earthquake. Okay, enough about the earthquakes. How about this hurricane that people are posting videos on? And I spoke with a uh, subscriber friend who lives in Houston yesterday and she told me that she's concerned well anybody in Houston or anybody along the Gulf Coast would be concerned when people are posting videos claiming that uh, here Texas in the crossfire of a hurricane six days until impact and then the latest is that you may get heavy rain here June 17 land falling hurricane tropical storm plan and prepare now um, yep here we go hurricane bud on track to impact southwest USA Mexico category 3 NASA just posted this video. NASA observed the once-hurricane Aletta 
intensify, now weakening quickly. I'm going to show you how all of this is manufactured. Here, Hurricane Bud to strengthen, threaten Mexico with flooding as Aleta weakens. What I want to say to all of you who are posting videos on these storms, on weather, and you don't ever mention weather modification, geoengineering, that these storms are absolutely 100% manufactured by man. You never mention the technology. It is, you, you are doing a grave disservice to all of your subscribers when you post these videos. And for six years running, I still don't ever hear anything about the technology that man is using to intensify, modify, steer the winds, the scalar technology, microwaves, Doppler radar, harp, nothing. So when you are posting wanting so much to get the information out to people. We are at war. They are using weather as a weapon. They are destroying your fellow Americans and you never mention, never mention. You talk as if it is, uh, well, prophesized or it's like a natural event and nothing natural about it. Nothing. So yes, it's very upsetting to see this time and time again. We are at war with these people never mentioning that, that weather is being used as a weapon. Well, you can understand why we are losing the war and more and more Americans have to suffer the consequences. So hurricane, hurricane bud, hurricane Aletta, no, tropical storm Aletta. This was sent to me by that Houston subscriber, Blake's blog. Tropical weather headed for Texas. A hurricane could be headed for Texas by next weekend. Well, NOAA shows no cyclones are expected, are expected during the next five days. Please remember Cyclones, hurricanes, they can be created by Doppler radar. Think of Doppler radar as your mini harp stations. They sending these high frequencies, heating the ionosphere, using the extremely low frequency transmitters to create, modify, intensify, storms, hurricanes. Okay, so NOAA shows nothing for the next five days. Oh, but these other sites, these other sites like the uh, Canadian model, the European model, they're showing a possible hurricane coming into the Gulf. And this Blake's blog, Blake, I guess is a meteorologist in Houston. He is uh, claiming that we better go with these models instead of NOAA. How is it that NOAA shows nothing and these models show a possible hurricane developing? You want to answer that? Because it doesn't make any sense. They're all over the place because they are just manufacturing all of this. Hurricanes hitting Texas in June isn't unheard of, but it certainly isn't a common occurrence. Well, when man has the technology to create hurricanes, to induce earthquakes, even volcanic eruptions, man can do anything. But just reading these mainstream media reports on these hurricanes. It is phenomenal. Category 3 Hurricane Bud threatens Mexico, southwest of the United States. Rainfall from Bud or its remnants 
would be beneficial to the drought-stricken southwest. It could also cause flash floods if too much falls too quickly, according to AccuWeather. So when you read these mainstream media articles on weather events, you see they are all over the map. Could, maybe, but the worst drought in the United States is in the southwest with the most severe conditions in Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, and Colorado. And guess what? Colorado, New Mexico, fires. So Bud has winds of 120 miles per hour. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, development may occur. AccuWeather. Now we're down to development may occur. And this is not Hurricane Bud. This is Hurricane slash Tropical Storm Aletta. It may occur. Look, I'm not saying that it won't occur. I am not saying that Houston, Louisiana, that you're not going to get a tremendous amount of rain. If they want to flood you out again, they will. I wish that I could say, you have nothing to worry about. We all have something to worry about now. We all have something. You're, you're living in a flood zone? Doesn't matter anymore. You're living in areas where tornadoes are extremely uncommon? Doesn't matter anymore. Not one man is using the technology and then that technology they're using it as a weapon. They have been all over in the forecasting, the predicting of this major hurricane, the tropical storm, major hurricane, bud, the tropical storm. Then it became a hurricane, Aletta. Now it's back to tropical storm, Aletta. But this, dated June 11? No. This article came out June 9, and I had bookmarked it. They've updated it, but pretty much it is essentially the same. Hurricane Bud has erupted into a major hurricane in the East Pacific today. Yes, it erupted into a hurricane immediately, and I will show you that. But here, for the Gulf of Mexico, some tropical moisture could enter late this week and jog north, northwest, but development looks unlikely at this point given the amount of wind shear. Did they change the date? Because in between June 9 and June 11, that tropical storm had then been forecasted as a hurricane and now it's weakened again, I don't know. But it, this is crazy making. Uh, you just don't. We used to be able to predict storms. We used to see them. Meteorologists used to see them turning from tropical storm into a hurricane. They would forecast it. They would watch the development. Now, Hurricanes just erupt. And tropical storms, they go from tropical storm to major hurricane, then back to tropical storm within hours. That is not normal. That is not Mother Nature. Here, Hurricane Bud swirling off the west coast of Mexico, forecast to strengthen into a category two. Uh, then it's a Category 3, very quickly. Now it's forecasted at a Category 4. I read an article, and I cannot find that article, and I'm wondering, did they just remove that article that said, Hurricane Bud will not make landfall. Now, apparently, it's going to make landfall. What are they saying? Rainfall from Bud, or its remnants, would be beneficial to the drought-stricken Southwest. 
It could also cause flash floods if too much falls too quickly, according to AccuWeather. Okay, so they don't know. The hurricane has been sitting off the coast of Mexico for days, and they can't predict what's going to happen. Bud has winds of 120 miles per hour. But then you see articles, it had winds of 80 miles per hour, then it jumps up to 120 miles per hour very quickly. Second hurricane of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season following Aleta, which is rapidly weakening far out in the open ocean. Oh, God. This article. Category 4, hurricane status. By early Friday morning, Aleta rapidly strengthened to a major hurricane, reaching category four. Oh my God. Well, guess what? Satellite images showed nothing. It showed the manufacturing of clouds, but it did not show any hurricane. But suddenly it's a category four hurricane, and it, it went from a tropical storm to a category four within a few hours. But now it's diminishing. But Bud now is making its round of threats. Bud is expected to move northwestward into Wednesday as it strengthens. All right, this is Bud. It, it, this is what is infuriating is not these meteorologists going along with the script and the script now is all over the place and I'm wondering if it's intentional do they do this to see if Americans can pick up on well the crazy making forecasting is it intentional because they can't quite get these hurricanes going so the meteorologists are winging it I don't know. But what is infuriating is not being able to get through to our fellow Americans and people who post these videos. Never mentioning weather modification and the use of weather as a weapon. So Before I even start to play this, the loop, look at how it is squared off. This is not Mother Nature. Mother Nature does not work in squares like this. She does not have all of these lines that you can see, all of the geoengineering on the periphery of this man-made storm. And you can't tell me that meteorologists cannot see this. Manufactured cloud, right there. And they can manufacture clouds by lasers. This is hard, watching it time and time and time again throughout the years, um, listening to the lies, listening to people post videos on YouTube sounding exactly like mainstream media meteorologists and you contact them ask them to talk about weather modification weather being used as a weapon geoengineering and they fail to ever mention it so you can see all of the geoengineering right here and I'm sorry guys but this ain't a normal hurricane, Aleta. This is Aleta. Really? It looks like it's being split open uh, by make microwave uh, laser beams, some frequency hitting it. You can see the geoengineering on the periphery once again, and you can see the manufacturing of cloud. 
But I will tell you, all of the time that I was on Intellicast, I never saw anything that looked like a hurricane. But Bud, well, that's very different. So this is June 8. This is what I captured. Lined clouds, seemingly perfectly lined, in Mexico. And I went all the way down past Durango. And there was no hurricane there. On June 8, there was no hurricane. On June 8. June 9, voila, major hurricane erupted in one day. Isn't that interesting? The articles that I said that I read that it was not going to make landfall, were they saying that on June 9? Because, oh, June 9 had the lined clouds as well. Three days running, I will show you those lined clouds being manufactured in the same place. But as you can see, Hurricane Bud is being stopped with frequencies coming onto the land right there. That is not a natural hurricane. You can see all of the geoengineering taking place. You can see all of the lines. You can see the grids. And you can see the frequencies being used. This is a creation of man. Are you getting tired of this? Do they do this, perhaps Photoshop their satellite images? Because they will be bringing major flooding, high winds, all of which can be created by the technology that they have. And because there will be so much flooding, they have to call it a hurricane. They don't even have to create a hurricane anymore. You see those lines? It's like, what, does the hurricane have a tail? Oh, the hurricane now is blowing holes through its cloud. Microwave frequencies, lasers. So this was June 10. This was last night. And, well, as you can see, Hurricane Bud, it didn't make landfall. It is in exactly the same place. And it's still showing every signature that every meteorologist should be aware of that indicates that, no, this is not a natural storm. This is being created by the aerosol spraying, the cloud manufacturing, and the frequencies. And once again, you can see the line of clouds right there in the same spot in Mexico. Three days running. Three days running. And I guess this thing is Aleta, the hurricane, tropical storm hurricane. Uh, Really, it's a semicircle of cloud manufactured by man. I want to emphasize what the European Parliament said back in 1999. A commission was formed to investigate HARP. This is what they said. HARP may well be the most silent and deadly weapon of all time, primarily because it is invisible to the naked eye and thus its existence can be denied by government and readily dismissed by media. But at this point, their dismissal, media's dismissal, you can look at every mainstream media, meteorologist, journalist as the enemy because there's mountains of evidence that prove that our weather has been taken over by man. They have usurped Mother Nature. But HARP, you may as well look at Doppler radar stations as many HARP stations. And I will link below to Dutch senses 
Dutch senses uh, video next red weather radar and harp weather modification explained and I will link below to weather war 101's video on harp next red how our Doppler radar stations are unfortunately now very powerful Doppler radar high frequencies shot up into the ionosphere coming back the extremely low frequencies voila you got an earthquake you have a volcanic a volcanic eruption or you have a hurricane flash flooding tornado whatever it's a war they are using weather as a weapon.